I remember when I, I bought the home for my mother and she came out of the car. When I opened the door, I said, Mom, I think I know these people in this house. That was my first major goal. And then I couldn't conceal it anymore. I said, Mom, I got this for you. And as she went from room to room, looking at the house and saying, Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. No one ever could have convinced me that this could have happened to me. And she looked at me and she said, Leslie, and you caused me so much problems as a boy. You were always into stuff. She said, no one could have convinced me that day when I walked in that house and this lady was holding you and your brother. And she said, ma'am, I want you to promise me two things. And she said, what is it? She says, one, promise me that you won't separate them. She said, I want them raised together. I want them to know each other. I got pregnant while my husband was away in the war and I can't keep them. Promise me that you won't separate them. She said, I promise I won't. I've never had children. I promise I won't separate them. And she said, promise me that you'll never tell them about who I am because if my husband ever found out, he would kill me. She said, I promise. And she said that she gave them to us and and she kind of cried and she, and she was walking out the door and she looked at my adopted mother. She said, remember, don't you separate them. She said, I swear to God, I won't. I won't separate them. I'll keep them together. And she said, as I held y'all in my arms, I never had any children of my own. I didn't know how I was going to do it. But I knew with the help of God, I will do it. And ladies and gentlemen, my mother had a dream of having children and raising us. She didn't know how she was going to do it. You're going to be just like that. And some of you are already there. Well, you don't know how. You're going to make this happen, but you just feel within yourself some way, somehow, with the help of God, I'm going to make it happen. Repeat after me, please. No matter how bad it is, or how bad it gets, I'm going to make it. I'm going to make it. Shake somebody's hand on your right and left and say, you got the right stuff. If you want another amazing clip of a young Les Brown, check it out right there next to me. I think you'll love it. Continue to believe, and I'll see you there. What i like for you to do right now, I want you to think about your dream, because I'm in a room full of dreamers. Think about your dream right now. I want you to think about it and envision it.